Hey, it's the Big Diesel, and you're now watching Juice Man. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, Starboy, take one. Go. My name is Kamonte Brooks, and this is my story. <clears throat> Pretty much zero star recruit, turn young legend. Can we get a quick brief about your upbringing? Yep, we're gonna get to all that, but we're gonna start from the beginning. Pretty much grew up in a two parent house with my brother, which we thought everything was so perfect. You know, from a kid perspective, everything's just going so well, but you know, sometimes things happen. Pops get locked up, moms get a divorce, and you know, life just goes on. But my brother stayed motivated, which led to him getting college scholarships. And me being a freshman in high school at the time, I was old enough to get a job. I really wasn't worried about my dreams. I was trying to help mom just pay the bills. But you know, she ended up moving on, got married. And yeah, man, I was happy for her. I'm not gonna lie, like seeing her happy again with a genuine smile on her face made me happy. Cause I'm thinking like, all right, she got some help now. He gonna help come pay these bills, you know what I'm saying? Probably put us in a better situation financially. Be a good father figure in the household, you know what I'm saying? But buddy of them got married to my moms and then turned around and ruined my freaking life. Like I won't smack the mess out of this bald head goofy right now, bro. I swear to Bob, bro. He said something crazy, bro. I swear to Bob, bro. Put my hands on him. The moment he said, uh, I'm right back of his head, bro. I ain't playing with this goofy, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Buddy was cool. <laughs> buddy was cool. He was geeking like, oh, this what I work at, man. Down the street from the new crib. You know how old heads be. They be geeking about, you know, their occupation, which is cool. Something to be proud of. He was talking about, hey, yo, don't go to these apartments, man. Here's where all the drug dealers be. All the little fast little girls. Like, bro, I ain't worried about that, bro. I was just trying to see the new crib. The new crib was cool. It was the first time I ever had, like, my own genuine space. My own room that I can do whatever in. I ain't get my own room until my brother went off to college. And I was, I was happy, though. I was happy that I had a better living situation. But I was sad that I had to change schools and leave all my old friends, bro. Like, Tell us about the first day. First day of school, man, I had all the girls on me. Walking through the hallway made me feel like the man. Just imagine, like, I came to school with a fresh polo fit on, Gucci flip flops, turning heads, bro. I mean, I was smelling good, I was looking good, had all the baddies on me. You feel me? Nah, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I see some baddies. I pull my phone out, start scrolling through the sets like I had a message or something. But nah, real talk, I had to make sure my phone still worked. Just in case I got like one of their numbers and you know what I'm saying? I could, I could save it, you feel me? But that's the real beginning, like that's what started everything. Me just trying to overcome my situations. Okay, now let's get into what's important. What about your first game? What? He asked about your first game. Bruh, can I at least talk about the tryouts, bruh? Well anyways, I was what, 16? Trying out for the JV squad. I was about 6'4", 6'5", at the time, man. But all I know when I hit that gym, I was really in my bag for real. I showed no flaws in my game. I came out running these cones, going to the rim, going crazy. I mean, I had the coach impressed. I had the assistant coach impressed. <laughs> my teammates was even impressed. Like, out the gates, I looked like a starter. But since I was a new transfer, didn't know the playbook, didn't even understand, you know, how the program was ran, didn't even know who the star guy was at the time, but you know, I was ready to put in that work, man. By any means, I was gonna get in that starting lineup. And this was way before my growth spurt, because in my senior year, I think I, I think I was about like 6'9", with guard ability. Man, just wait on the story, bro. It get crazy. Yes, sir. <laughs> we finally get into the gameplay of my dog, Kimonte Brooks, AKA Starboy, you feel me? With the Vinilago skin texture, you know what I'm saying? Had to do something a little different. And this series pretty much is like a, a flashback of where he's at now in his career, you feel me? So I'm doing the high school games. You already know we're gonna have GTA intros on almost every episode. We're gonna eventually get to college. He'll go through trials and tribulations, getting there and things of that nature, bro. But anyways, off rip. Dishing off to my guy in that corner again, dunks. Picking up my first assist in high school off the bench. What I want to do with this series is have you guys help me make some decisions. This first episode, like, it was it was rough to put together because I didn't know where I was going to go with the story, but we're going to build up on it. And, you know, he ain't reaches full potential, so you guys will eventually see him get his growth spurt, become a power forward, Anthony Davis type of build, John saying. Might peak at, like, 6'11", 6'10", type of high, John saying. We're going to transition. Catching Ooh. ankles already in this first game, pulling up. Bang! Knock it down on freaking trays. Look at this. Put Buddy on his knees. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Bang! 
Put you guys in the comments will help me out on what decisions to make for KB, man. We're gonna have life decisions, college decisions, uh, part girlfriend decisions. Like, we're gonna try to incorporate a little bit of everything to the story. Hey! But yeah, let me know how you guys feel down in the comments. What things should I add? What elements should I add to the content, bro? You know what I'm saying? Should I, should I get my dog Waji to do some voiceovers? Should I get my dog Hoodie Sean to do some voiceovers, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, should I get some teammates involved on the GTA side? Let me know, bro. You guys gonna help me build out this series. It's not so much of a Tommy story, but hey, we're gonna try to make it better than ever. As I'm in that paint going up and one. Yo, boy, in that paint going crazy. But as I was in my bag, man, as you guys can see, you got a little Paul George Jimmy playing that defense, getting the paint and score. I got handles. You love to see it, dog. But I ain't gonna lie. Your boy gotta. I gotta work on my free throws. I gotta work on my free throws. Like, like, you gotta have a flaw somewhere. Free throws is one of them. But we're gonna work on that. As I get that block right there, you love to see it. We're not taking no plays off. I'm running on the little floor right now, trying to see where I'm supposed to be going. Get myself in my hot spot, you know what I'm saying? Working out of the post. Back and buddy down. Spinning the baseline. Going up. Nice little reverse layup. We getting at the goal. <laughs> I was really feeling myself, chap. I was really in my bag, bruh. Let me know in the comments, bruh. How y'all really feeling about the look? Like, the Vitilago skin? Like, you can't tell me that's not different, bro. Like, it took me a long time. Hey! What took me a long time to get this skin mod, bro? Not just for uh 2K. 2K process was easy. It was a GTA part, bro. I was working day after day after day trying to get this in my GTA server to work so I could do the GTA intros, bro. That's why I missed so many days on the uploads. Look at me. Back it, buddy, down. Showing off that strength. In the paint. Turn around. Lay up. Getting that thing to go. And my original idea with this story was going to be kind of dark, bro. I'm talking about it's going to be hood aesthetic. People shooting, people dying. But I was like, but that's too much work in a short amount of time. I'm already missing so many days. So I kind of went with like an interview point of view. Like I'm talking past tense, but that's besides the point. We locked in, chat. Look at my boy getting that layup to go right there. As I pick up my second assist in high school. First game on JV squad. You already know, man. I'm out here doing my thing with my takeover activated. Let me get those. Reading the floor. Scoping it out. Buddy thought he play defense. Oh no. Put him on his ass, pulling up another jumper in his buckets. I was really in my bag. As we got a 70 to 47 lead, I'm doing everything right in my first game. I'm making the right decisions, making the right reads. I mean, at this point, like, coach gotta be impressed. And I ain't gonna lie, like, he, he got me on that one. Oh, nice little putback dunk right there. But I was like, what, five for five at this point in the game? I was really doing my thing, trying to run the floor with my squad, man. You already know, calling for that ball. You're a step Brooks in the freaking building. I'll be in my bag too. I told y'all, like, <laughs> I'm really doing my thing. MVP. MVP. Oh, yeah, that's that dude. That's that boy D-Lo. Right there, number one, D-Lo. You know what I'm saying? Like, the star player of this JV squad, bro. Buddy be getting buckets. I I'm talking about, like, he got, like, 25, 26 points right now. And, hey. Why are you trying to make it a point there? Like, they ain't backing down, but, like, it's only, what, 50 seconds left and ticking. Dot. You know what I'm saying? My boy going that baseline. Hey. Picked up another assist, and that was game. And I can't even lie, bro. Like, playing in this system, it was pretty easy. Like, I know this is just a small school on the south side, but I came out there, and I did my thing, bro. Like, I was really in my bag. I think I had a perfect 6 for 6 performance. Only allowed, like, 4 points. Play some amazing defense, but my offense was top tier. Like, come on, man. Like, coming off as the seventh, eighth man on the squad, bro. Only played a limit of 13 minutes, had 14 shooting, six for six with four assists. But I would really be in my bag going crazy. But if you like this series so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, man. All feedback is appreciated. So, as we get into game two, you already know what type of time we on, bro. At this point, we just proven that the first game wasn't a fluke. You already know, man. We maintained our bag, created opportunities, and made sure we got this win. Because you already know, like, I might have to show you guys on what goes on behind the scenes of this team. So you guys that we had to do a position battles to make sure I got in the lineup, things of that nature. Might show you guys on, you know, my current family situation at that time. But stay locked in. Because you already know me. I'm trying to do what I do. I already catch your ankles. Oh, my goodness. Like, I ain't do nothing but a nice little crossover chat. I'm out here just doing my thing, but you know, hopping in that post, small body, big man, as they recognize the big mix, smashing that paint, backing them down, going up, making it look so easy. Oh my goodness. Somebody get that boy some help. <laughs> he did not want that work for real, bruh. 
But I was already showing elements of being so dynamic on that basketball court. Sooner I could work in there posting. Oh my goodness, going up, getting yeah. blocked. What? Wait, wait, wait. I was being a little bit too flashy. I did not recognize the defense. But it was holding down that paint. Bone in transition. I had to feed my dog. On a fast break. D low catching lobs. Let's get it right. Like, I think in that game, we were showing off so much chemistry. Letting boy. Whoa, I'm about to say something crazy. Let me. <laughs> pretty much. Hold on. <laughs> I was about to say something crazy, but pretty much everybody got their, uh, yeah, step back, green bean. Bang, let's get right. <laughs> pretty much the ball was in great rotation. Everybody had their looks. We created opportunities. Look at the great defense. I don't know why I'm in the paint, leaving Buddy wide open. Trey ball, and it was good. And I'm going to be honest, bro. Number nine on their squad gave me like 20 points. He was not missing, but the story ain't really about him. It's about me. Doing what I do best in that paint. Nice little reset. Kicking the ball back out. As I move off the ball, off the wing, pulling up the green thing. Bang, it was good. <laughs> see, I ain't seen this film in a little minute, so I, I kind of forgot what happened. As I was finally playing some amazing defense, stop that man for hitting another jump shot. You are step Brooks in the building. Going up, what a lay. <laughs> you guys, like I said, bro, Paul George type of bag. 6'5 in 11th grade. You ain't never seen nothing like this in a minute, bro. Probably just like Zion Williamson or something like that. Like, uh, nah, not, not Zion. Not Zion. That's not a good comparison on that situation. Like, Paul George and LeBron James type of... Nah, I wasn't as athletic as LeBron in high school. But I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, I was hooping. And I also was flying. But look at me in that paint. Hop step getting fouled. God damn. I almost blacked out for a minute. I almost put them paws on Goofy, bro. That flagrant foul. Like, it ain't even all that serious, dog. Like, two hands knocking me out the air, bro. I'm getting tackled. We're playing football now? That is crazy. But once again, I'm at the free throw line. Knocking down the first one. Got 10 points, two boards, three assists. Went up with the second one. And yeah, man. <laughs> I'm 50. I'm really Shaquille O'Neal at the line. But that wasn't stopping me from doing what I had to do, bro. That helped my team. We was down to 11. Spinning in that paint. Rising up with a hey. <laughs> Getting to the basket by any means. Doing what I could do for my team. And after that situation, I did go to the bench for a second. Coach Murray back out in a better situation. And that's a two-point game. Dotting d low down in that paint. He getting fouled. As my boy dude got like 27 points tonight, bro. Alone. Buddy was in his bag. And I don't know why, but Coach put me back on the bench. He didn't want me to ruin the momentum that they had when they made the comeback. So, it is what it is, dog. We 2-0 on the season. <laughs> and I'm feeling good about the situation, man. I was loving what was going on. I was just hoping that I was going to get more reps and more time out there with the squad, bro. Because the starters was out here balling, bro. The team behind D-Lo and my defense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, you guys see the results. Buddy gave me 20. Nah, he ain't give me that whole 28. I ain't going to lie. He ain't give me the whole 28. I don't care what that boss score say. He ain't give me that whole 28. But if you guys ready for Starboy episode 2, let me know down in the comments ASAP, bro. All likes are appreciated. Every view is appreciated. But until next time, I'm out. Juice Man.